Quatsch. <lacht> Welcome, and thank you to Carl and Nancy for hosting us for Wild Church. You'll see this is a very different kind of church service. We are worshiping with creation. So we're going to start by sharing a song about creation that Lisa is going to sing for us, This Pretty Planet. I'm I have two Welcome to Wild Church. We are here to reconnect spiritually with God, with each other, and with the land as beloved community. We greet one another as kin. We also greet all of creation around us as kin. We are greeting one another here on unceded traditional ancestral homelands and the waterway of the Abenaki past and present within the Black River watershed. <coughs> we acknowledge with honor and gratitude all those who have stewarded this place throughout the generations, and we give thanks to our creator. There are currently 140 wild churches, part of the wild church network in the United States and Canada, who encounter God in the wilderness. In this age of mass extinctions, we feel burdened by the love of Christ to invite people into direct relationship with the planet. And some of the most vulnerable victims are of our destructive culture, our land, our waters, the creatures with whom we share our homes. The Wild Church Network offers invitations to reconnect with the wild world. As kin, as sacred, as beloved co-participants in a larger story of grace and interbeing. Wild church gatherings offer opportunities for contemplation, grief and praise, movement and song, solo wandering and wondering, advocacy, ecological restoration, and activism on behalf of and in collaboration with the beloved others in our watersheds. Note that we, the United Church of Ludlow, sent 16 UCC climate change postcards that joined 5,000 others as part of an effort to save thousands of lives, address societal inequities, 
and get our nation on track to meet its climate goals. The postcards address decision makers in Washington during a rare period of opportunity as the Environmental Protection Agency reviews and updates a number of protections that could significantly impact our environment and our public health. So before we get too far, just a few notes. As you saw coming up the stairs, there is a restroom um, partway down the stairs. There is a sign for that if you need that. Um, thank you again to Carl and Nancy for opening their beautiful home and property to us today. Um, also, just as uh, while this isn't a normal style church service, I do want to give a couple quick announcements uh, before we get into the opening prayer. Um, and that is that sadly, uh, Phyllis Katham passed away yesterday morning. Um, so her service will be held at the United Church of Ludlow at some point in the future. Her daughter reached out to me, um, but I'm not sure when. Um, they do have another pastor they would like to do that service. Um, so I may or may not be involved, but we, we welcome them. And I know many of you remember Phyllis and that she was a secretary in our church for a long time. So we mourn her passing, but 95 years is a pretty good run. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, also a joy, uh, Carrie, our administrative assistant, was going to come with me today, um, but she's a little tired because yesterday, for the first time in five months, she was able to see her husband, Greg, in Albany. Um, he is recovering from a double amputation, and he's doing quite well, but it is a journey. Um, so she's resting today, but it is a joy that they got to be together. Anybody have any other announcements before we begin our time of prayer? I have one last one. Keep in mind, September 10th is Hilarity Sunday. We know this has been a rough summer, so we need to laugh. So some holy humor will be held on Sunday, September 10th. I'm not going to be a stand-up comedian, so I have some, but I'd like you all to bring some humor with you. So if you have a funny story, church-related or not, as long as it's appropriate for church, um, we, we welcome that. And it's a time to just have some fellowship and have, so, you know, have some fun together. So Holy Hilarity Sunday on the 10th. I will send you more about that. Let us be in the spirit of prayer together. Great Spirit of the Son, on this dawning of a new day, we turn our faces toward your radiance, looking for your grace to shine upon us. Creator of light, may your fire burn within us, igniting passion, fueling growth, extending warmth to all with whom we connect this day. On this summer day, we celebrate life, abundance, fertility, growth, fruitfulness, ripening, color, strength, vitality, and richness. We also celebrate this day with the indigenous peoples who have called this place home long before settlers arrived. We pray that we might be good neighbors, good listeners, good allies, as we pray together for reconciliation, for justice, and for the earth we all call home. Let us rejoice in this day of light. Amen. Amen. So we're going to start with some song and movement together. I don't know how many of you know the song, Marching in the Light of God. You'll know it when you get started. <laughs> because I'm going to invite you to sing it with me. Or if you can't sing it, I'm going to invite you to move with me and come up with ideas as we sing it. And we're going to start it with the South African version from the global praise tradition of the United Methodist Church, which is Siahamba. Does anyone know Siahamba? <laughs> all right. That's all I need. Two people who know it. Uh, so I'm going to sing it a couple times, and then we're going to change it to Marching in the Light of God. And then I'm going to be open for suggestions from you of what else we can be doing in the light of God. So if you are able and have the energy, I urge you to get on your feet for this, because this is not a calm song. And it goes like this. And it's okay if you don't want to get up. Yes. If you are able to get up, if you don't want to, don't. Um, if you know it, just start singing along, okay? Because this is not meant to be a solo, but if it is, my voice is loud enough that they're going to hear me too. It goes like this. We are my marching in the light of God. We are 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 
are marching, we 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 verses 7 through 10. But ask the animals, and they will teach you. The birds of the air, and they will tell you. Ask the plants of the earth, and they will teach you. And the fish of the sea, of the sea will declare to you. Who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of every human being. The word of God for the people of God. So we now have a time of wandering and wondering. This is a quiet time. You can choose to sit in your chair and contemplate and look around. You are encouraged to walk around. Don't fall off a cliff, please. <laughs> uh, I did this at Wild Church once, and I spent 10 minutes watching a bee. 
It was profound. So take the time to look at the big things, this beautiful view, and the little things, like the insects and animals around us. So we'll have about 15 minutes of this quiet contemplative time as it works for you. You can stay where you are, you can move, uh, you can wander. I will call you back with the sound of the singing bowl um, in about 15 minutes. So take this time to be with creation. I hope it is sacred. Enjoy. Thank you all. Thank you all for taking the time to experience this place and sharing your hearts, because I think that's what I just heard. We're sharing our hearts in this place. Um, so we're going to have another song, and then a closing prayer, and then we'll we'll move into our um, our, our celebration of eating. <laughs> but, um, Lisa's going to tell us a little bit about the song, and I'm going to recruit Russ to help me pass out the words to the chorus. And um, there, you'll notice there's another song underneath it. It's a Johnny Appleseed Grace that we'll be doing as our blessing before the meal. Um, so, so the song that we're finishing up with, I learned from my kids um, when they went to Farm and Wilderness Camp. Does anyone have experience with Farm and Wilderness? So do you know the song Swimming to the Other Side? Do you know the song Swimming to the Other Side at Farm and Wilderness? <laughs> No, I'm not, a, I'm not a singer. <laughs> this is a song that, it's a Quaker camp, so there's a lot of spirituality and all the music from there. And um, this particular one also has arm motion. So I urge you to sing along with this chorus because it repeats like five times during the song. I'll sing it the first time, and then I'll be singing um, verses in between, and then we'll sing the chorus together if you want. Or you can try and do some of the arm motions. So... Um, I'm just going to do the first chord so that I teach it to you in the right key, and then I'll pick up the guitar to sing to play the song together. Okay, so it goes like this. We are living beneath 
this great big dipper. We are washed by the very same rain. We are swimming in the stream together, some in power and some in pain. We can worship this ground we walk on, cherishing the beings that we live beside. Loving spirits will live forever. We're all swimming to the other side. Want me to try it one more time? We'll just join in. We'll just join in. Okay. So if anyone thinks they got any of that and wants to come up here and lead the motion. <laughs> and those are just the motions that my or kids. Or do your own. That's exactly what I was saying. Those are the motions my kids brought home. But I think what I'm saying is that I encourage you to interpret this song with your body while we're singing. So should we stand again? You can stand or sit or whatever is comfortable for you at this time. I'll do some motions. They may not be the exact ones, but yeah. I'm used to do them from Vacation Bible School with kids. <laughs> Ground we walk on, 
spirit of prayer together. Wow, thanks God. Anne Lamont used that as one of her primary prayers and I don't think there's a better one. Three words, three words that encompass this beauty, the blue skies, the clouds, the wind on our backs and the sun peeking through, the ground beneath us, the hills and mountains that surround us and the water below us. Thank you, God, for all of this and for the people here together celebrating it. Help us to be stewards of this place, your planet. Help us to be held up by you and to hold your kingdom up for you. We thank you, God, for all you do. Amen. Amen. So on the second part of your sheet, many of you probably know the Johnny Appleseed race. <coughs> it's one of the ones that my kids would always do. So we'll sing that through once, and then Lisa, do you still want to share that? Yeah. Okay, and then Lisa will share a final one, and we'll eat. So we'll, we'll do this through twice, and I'll start. Oh, the Lord's been good to me, and so I thank the Lord. For the faith I need, the saints I need, the sun and the rain and the apples, see the Lord's been good to me. Oh, the Lord's been good to me, and so I thank the Lord. For giving me the things I need, the sun and the rain and the apples, see the Lord's been good to me. <laughs> and now here's the grace song from Farmer Wilderness. Thank you for this food, this food, this glorious, glorious food. And the animals and the vegetables and the minerals that make it possible. Let's eat! <laughs> 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 Thank you.